Good morning everybody, this is Dear Mama Sal and it's Thursday. We know I like Thursdays. Ah. The uh, garage sunbather is doing very well. He's got a sweatshirt on this morning, but still got the shorts. So that's quite cute. Obviously he gets up early and uh, it looks like he's playing with woodworking stuff or stuff like that. So that's awesome. What a nice way to retire. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, it is eight degrees here in Canada. Hmm. And a lot of traffic. <laughs> Unusually so. Anyway, 8 degrees in Canada, which makes it uh, 47, oh, sorry, 8 degrees in southern British Columbia, and uh, 7 o'clock in, 7 o'clock, 47 degrees in northern Washington state, I would think, round about there anyway. So it's uh, a wet, a wet day. Let's say I will not be singing um, I Can See Clearly now today because the clouds are all socked in and we have rain and then rain and then some rain by the look of it coming. Actually, now that I think about it, they did say the rain was going to let up this afternoon, which is awesome. And I'm about to um, take a very important week off. Uh, I really feel the need for it. I'm very tired and I'm not quite sure why I'm so tired but I do feel very very tired and so I'm looking forward to having a week where there isn't any stress and there isn't any well when I say there isn't any stress other than living um, but you know what I mean it's just like that I get to just uh, wind down a pig but it is my intent to do some serious spring cleaning not all the time but on a couple of days and um, uh, Jenny Jen Jen dropped me a note this morning um, apropos of her uh, spring cleaning um, routine and I thought some of you might like to hear what she does uh, and that is that she works apparently in a clockwise direction um, in a room and she does absolutely everything in a clockwise direction. You know what I mean? She, I mean, she starts here and she systematically works around, but she is cleaning everything in sight. She's throwing stuff out, cleaning drawers. And then she said when she's finished all of that, because of what that creates, that much movement of clothing and everything else, after she's finished that, she then disinfects and dusts the whole room interesting so very very interesting process and it is my goal that during the coming week to obviously spend a more time in my back room which I'm nearly nearly there when I say I'm nearly there I'm nearly there for the what I call the surface stuff I, I've got carpet all uncovered. I can see the whole of the carpet now which makes the whole room look twice as big. Um, now it's a case of I've got a lot of tools in there. Tiling for my kitchen and tools that have no reason to be there at all. And paint is the other thing that I keep in there. And I know psychologically why I keep it there. I keep it there because I'm inclined to wake up and go, okay, I'm gonna paint something today. And I want it handy. Uh, <coughs> I 
it's a cough sneeze. Anyway, so I want it handy. However, when I look at the reality, and that's difficult, when I look at the reality, I haven't picked up a paintbrush and done any painting in my house. Wow, that guy is seriously dangerous. He so nearly clipped me, it wasn't even funny. I don't know if you could see that in the video. Clipped me on the inside. Wow. It's an accident waiting to happen, unfortunately. Sorry about that. And now I can't remember what I was saying. Let me think. Oh, yes. Um, I really do have to face the fact that I haven't picked up a paintbrush and painted anything for quite a while. So that definitely, that excuse has to stop. So um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to do a couple of hours at least in that back room until I've got it looking a whole lot better than it is even now. And then, I don't know why, I look at what is the worst room after that, or what is the worst place after that. And the worst place after that is my hall closet downstairs. Now, not something that people go into all the time, I understand that. But it is just, I mean, quite honestly, the word would be disgusting. You know, the dust bunnies. I don't think I have cleaned that closet, you know, washed down the walls or done anything in there. Well, I don't even want to think when. So I have decided, and there's a double reason for this. I have decided that I am going to take everything out of it because a lot of it is stuff that um, probably needs to be thrown away. You see this guy again, speeding up like this? He's going to be forced to join the traffic. And so instead of slowing down and indicating, no indicators, he speeded up and just forced his way in. In front of me, of course. That is so dangerous. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's actually quite scary to be driving on the same road with this man. I'm going to give him a distance. And as long as I can see him, I'm going to keep very aware of what's going on around me because... something not right. Again, he switched lanes, went in front of another car, no indicators at all. I don't know where he learned his driving techniques, but it... Griff Building Supplies. Let me remember that name. Anyway, so... Good news is, I think he's off my road now. But really scary to watch. 
Okay, here we go. You don't really care about that, right? And I'm just not moving on for a second because I need my adrenaline to drop because that was quite scary to watch. And I was actually very grateful that I was vlogging because I thought if anything happens, I at least could um, play back the video and they would see that what his prior moves had been or he, they would hear what his prior moves had been on the video. So anyway, scary. I will be making a telephone call today. That is for sure. Now you can say it's none of my business. And you know what I say? It might save a life. And uh, that to me is my responsibility here. Rather large pothole. I'm really looking forward to the next 10 days. Um, I intend to get some serious rest as well as do some spring cleaning. And one of the things that I used to do was that I would take the trailer and go and sit somewhere for three days and do nothing for three days. When I say nothing, you know, I'd, I'd wake up, read, eat, go back to sleep, wake up, read, eat, go back to sleep, wake up, read, eat, go back to sleep. And it didn't matter what time of the day or night it was, That's that was my sort of um, process. And I'd find after about three days of doing that, I would start not needing a whole lot of sleep anymore because my body was rested. And I really do notice, and I wonder if any of you um, agree with that, I really do notice that I don't get enough sleep during the week. Um, and therefore I need more at the weekends, for example. Unless I am highly motivated to do something, and I notice if I'm highly motivated to do something, then I seem to wake up much better. And I think in there is a lesson as well for, for everyone. When you're doing something you love, you have a different mentality. When you're just surviving, you just get into this pattern. So, I'm trying not to beat up on myself and I go back and look at the last few days and say, hmm, you know, I've been a little um, I don't know, I've been tired, is what I'd have to say. But it, therefore it's very exciting because in a few hours I'm going to be able to go wow and now I get to rest for 10 days. Now we're having a, um, a family meal on Saturday and it was really cute. Ange from downstairs came up and decided to have a committee meeting. We do that every now and then. We have committee meetings on important stuff that will affect all of us. And she had a committee meeting about um, the meal. And I had heard from Yvonne that Ange particularly likes ham. And so I said, well, for Easter, would you like ham? And she said, yes. And I said, then let's do that. 
So Ange decided that she was going to help me, which is great. I haven't heard back from Dougie, so I presume he <laughs> hasn't got clear enough to even open his emails, which happens. Um, so I'm not going to be concerned about that. Uh, if he phones me, we'll always have enough for him. And if he's not available, then we'll have more for ourselves. And that's how I look at it. So it's going to be a fun meal. Now, the interesting thing is, and that's unusual, because Ange was saying that she does like Brussels sprouts and she likes to have ham with Brussels sprouts. So I said, okay, we can do Brussels sprouts. Now we know not everybody likes Brussels sprouts, but so what I will do is another, at least one other vegetable as well, so that whoever it is gets a choice. And we're going to do mashed potatoes. And so if anybody's got a really nice way to cook ham, I have never cooked a ham in my life. Isn't that amazing? I've cooked a lot of things, but I don't think I've, I can remember ever cooking ham. So, I've eaten lots of it. I think it's going to be very fun. And Ange is going to do a dessert, so... We've got that one covered, so it'll be a fun meal. And I wonder how much ham I need for... I think it's just the four of us that are going to be there. many people, right? And I want to do it with, um, you know, brown sugar crusting and I have a memory of that. And then the last minute put on the pineapples and stuff, pineapple rings. So I must remember to pick up those things, otherwise I'll be looking like an idiot at the last moment. And it's funny because when I talk about that, I remember in the old days getting roast pork with crackling on top. And we used to fight over the crackling. We used to fight over eating that much fat. And I wonder if any of you remember doing that. I personally thought it was the best part of roast pork, but... And I guess <laughs> my siblings did as well, because there used to be, you know, quite the uh, division of the crackling. It was quite, an, you know, a scientific art to make sure that we equally shared it. You know, I'm surprised we didn't bring way scales out and test it because it was that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> really funny, now that I think about it. Nice memory. Very nice memory. So what are, what are your memories of, of um, family meals? If any of you got any sort of, or, or even as we're so close to Easter, you know, Easter meals, do any of you have any, any memories that, that make you smile? I can't remember, although I'm sure we had them, I can't remember any serious Easter egg hunts, but I'm sure we must have had them. 
Sure, the Easter Bunny must have visited my house. Remember Easter eggs? Eating them. I can't remember Easter egg hunts as much. Hmm. I am quite certain we had them. The reason I say that is we had an absolutely beautiful... Oh, right. That would be why. We had a beautiful garden. And having a whole bunch of kids running through the garden looking for Easter eggs would have destroyed all the tulips and daffodils, wouldn't they? Right. So maybe we didn't have Easter egg hunts in the garden. Maybe the Easter Bunny left them outside our bedroom door or something to make sure that... Ah. I've got a feeling that could well have been the issue. Because I definitely can't remember Easter egg hunts. Which was insane because we lived on 3,000 acres. I mean, like, there wasn't room for an Easter egg hunt. Duh. <laughs> you know, move some cows aside. Let's have an Easter egg. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, that could have been messy, couldn't it? Um, <laughs> oh, that's a nice, that nice idea. Um, <laughs> Oh dear, so the things that go through your mind. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, and you move the sheep aside, it's not going to be much better either. They would have left their mark, right? And who would want Easter? Yeah, no, not so much. <laughs> That's going to really mess with my makeup. Okay, in case anybody wondered, the lipstick today is Minx, M I N X, and it's also a Covergirl flipstick one. And it's actually a really interesting combination. The one end is brown. Um, and then the lipstick itself is like a golden color. It's beautiful. So I, do, I hope it looks good. Um, it certainly is adventurous, but I'm learning to be adventurous, right? But I'm wearing brown pants, and I thought that would be a really nice combination. I've got to say goodbye to my uh, intern today. That'll be very sad. So, and he's going to be gone for most of the day as well. I always find that difficult, you know, when you've been working with him for three weeks and he's sort of become part of the family. We, we took him out to lunch yesterday and uh, it was great. We had, we went and had fish and chips, definitely on everybody's diet. Um, deep fried beer batter, fish and chips. It was good. But we were all very good. We only had one piece each instead of two. <laughs> And um, we all enjoyed it. We all said we should do that more often. We, we don't often go for fish and chips. We're inclined to get caught up in going to the Cactus Club and the Cactus Club and the Cactus Club. You know what I mean? So it was a nice change. Glad to see they left me a parking space this morning, which is great. So what's the thought for the day? thought for the day is remember the good times um, around Easter or your favorite meal around Easter and um, smile. Remember life's about those memories and make sure you make those memories for other people so that years from now they'll say hey you remember that Easter when we had da 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 da.
This is Dead Mama Sal saying bye bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.